In this video, I'm going over Barrier, a new way to share keyboard and mouse. And this is a fork from the Synergy project from about 10 years old now. This video is brought to you by Purism, makers of the Librem 13 and 15 laptops. They have beautiful hardware kill switches so you know that your camera is off because the software has no access to them when those kill switches are engaged. So check out their laptops now at Purism's website. In this video, I'm showing you a simple way of sharing your keyboard and mouse across multiple computers with double monitors. So you don't have to have multiple keyboard and mouse for a variety of PCs that you might have at your disposal. Now, this original project was Synergy. Most people know Synergy. It's now a commercial project, but it started out as open source. And the people over at Barrier actually have picked up that open source project, updated it, and kept its minimalistic design. So a big, big thank you to you guys. Just a great project. I wanted to draw a little more attention to it because it deserves so much praise. And if you have a couple bucks to shoot their way for a donation, I'm sure they'd appreciate it. But uh, check it out on GitHub. I'm going to flip over to the desktop and show you everything you need to know about Barrier setting up a server here where you'd have your keyboard and mouse on your main machine. But let's say you have a secondary machine and a secondary monitor it's hooked up to. You don't actually need to have another keyboard and mouse for it with the Synergy server going or actually the barrier server going. So let me flip over to the desktop and show you how the install works and then just a basic configuration. Okay, so let's go ahead and get on the barrier GitHub and go to install this. Now, barrier, a couple things I'll point out. Up here at the top, you can see it was forked by Synergy Core the old repository, I think this repository is almost like 10 years old or something uh, when they actually moved commercial. So a very old project, but everyone knows Synergy and I absolutely loved it back then and before it got commercialized. Now Barrier picked that up and really, and just says, hey, we're just gonna maintain its simplicity and just keep this project going, which is awesome. I'm really happy they did this. Um, the goals here is to do just compatibility with Windows OS X, Linux, FreeBSD, all of it just to have it work, which is awesome. Um, now, with all that said, uh, here are the OS is supported, which is just what I named. Uh, there is no 32-bit versions for Windows, and there is no drag and, drag and drop in Linux. So those are the downsides to Barrier right now, but they are working on that. Now, as far as the releases and how to install Barrier, um, well, I actually haven't installed it yet, so you're actually gonna get to see it happen right now. So uh, for Linux users, we obviously will just use Flatpak, and for Windows users, you'll use the executable. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just copy this right here, and paste that in, and start installing and updating. So this will actually go out. Um, I actually haven't run Flatpak in a while because there's a couple other updates that it's gonna do here. So I'll go ahead and speed all this up 2000%. Okay, now that we have Barrier installed with a Flatpak, I actually had to reboot my PC. On reboot, I'm able to see Barrier in my applications list. That could also be, I hadn't used Flatpak in a while, so that's probably why. So during the setup process, we select our language and say, hey, is this a server or a client? Obviously, this would be the server because this is the first one being set up. You'd hit finish, and that's it. And literally, then you'd go to the secondary PC and say, hey, this is a client, and then you'd go from there. So with that, we can actually modify. You get your default setup, and we configure this. So very, very basic just like old Synergy was. So with configure, you'd have another one pop in here and you would just arrange it to wherever it needed to be on the screen. And then you can make some hotkeys if you like, but I, I never do. Usually I just set it up and then that's it. Um, you can also set up dead corners as well. But just configure it on here, hit okay. Um, other things, clipboard sometimes can work. 
Uh, I really like clipboard too when it comes to synergy, so you can copy paste commands and that type of thing. Uh, very powerful as well. But other than that, this is it. Simple, stupid, perfect. And that's exactly how I like it. Uh, minimalist, and I'm really, really happy they took up the barrier. So fantastic program here. But this is all you need to do for configure. You just finish putting that there. Once done, you hit apply and then just simply start and close. And then from there, you're good to go. So there you have it. That is Barrier, a great predecessor to Synergy's open source. I love to see old, dead open source projects that were fantastic come back to life when another creator picks it up and updates it. And that's exactly what uh, has happened with Barrier. And this is probably one of my favorite open source projects of all time before it got commercialized and taken private. And uh, I'm just over the moon that this is a thing now, uh, especially now. Now, I was using the old version of Synergy in some things, but I think it's kind of gotten dated now and it wasn't updated for like Windows 10 and some other things. And uh, I was finding myself having to use more of the commercial project. Uh, so really, really am very thankful that uh, Barrier exists now. But with all that said, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. And a big shout out to my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you on the next one.